So one of my pet peeves of being a homeowner in a in an area that has a lot of mosquitoes is bringing in bringing in mosquitoes into the house. It there's cave crickets, mice, but there that sucks having those critters in your house. But mosquitoes, oh, that just it drives me nuts. Um, and it took me a while to find these things. You know, so um, you know. Being a child of the 70s and 80s, we used to have those, uh, the new technology of having the bug zapper lights in people's, in people's yards, and they were expensive, and, you know, with cheap Chinese goods, uh, I uh, was sc scrolling through Amazon and discovered um, a bug zapper, and this was years ago, and, and um, you know, having my garage gym, I uh, would have the door open all the time, and then <laughs> invariably mosquitoes would come in. Uh, living in Washington DC and just annoy me you know I can't work out when I'm like obsessed about these little mosquitoes flying all over the place and trying to kill them so this was I found a, a fluorescent bug zapper and that's probably like 40 or 50 bucks maybe back then um and I still have it in fact I'm going to donate it um but I usually used uh like these five these five watt one foot long five watt uh uv bulbs that attract the bug, bugs and then they had these um, zapper screens on them. And they, what was great about that is, you know, you're working out and you're in the gym and the door's closed and you'll hear the pssst, and you just know like, gotcha. And that's so pleasing for someone who hates mosquitoes. Um, but I've had that, had that for a while. Um, and like I said, they're, they're two five watt bulbs. So that's 10 watts and me being anal. Um, and knowing that's using a, a bit of electricity, though effectively and totally worth it. You know, I had it hanging in the garage uh, in front of the door that goes out of the garage into the house. Um, and had it attached to an, an Alexa an Alexa outlet. Worked great. And then I was another stupid thing. I was scrolling through Amazon and found that they make LED versions of it, which I knew, but it never, never occurred to me to make a bug zapper um, using, uh, on a larger scale, because I actually bought these little, knowing how well these bug zapper, that large bug zapper worked, I, I found, I was in Aldi or Lidl actually, and they had these cheap, uh, little bug zappers that you plug in the outlet for like, you know, by the, the kitchen or the bathroom or whatever. And, and they're awesome. I, they worked so well. At first I didn't think they were, they, they worked until I was, I unplugged one and looked down in the, um, the trap, the, the zapper, you know, they're all about the size of a deck of cards. And then all these little dried up dead bugs fell out. I'm like, oh, wow, crap, that totally worked. It didn't have the pleasing zap of the, of the 10 watt one I had, but it, um, it totally worked. And so I, I, every chance I would see them, you know, for whatever, a few bucks, I, I would grab them and place them around the house and the other thing is on top of having mosquitoes fly around me and being a healthy family, we have a lot of um, fruit, fresh fruit in the house. And with fresh fruit in the house, you get invariably fruit flies. And, you know, fruit flies suck, but they're just, they don't bite and uh, they do become infested. So what I would do would be make, would make this vinegar soap solution, which kind of worked, but passively or passively actively, I would leave one of these bug zappers plugged in all the time in the kitchen and to try to try to mediate the problem. And so those used hardly any electricity because they were LED based and, you know, they would just zap whatever was, would happen to come by, come by the trap, particularly when it was darker out. So, which gets me to the point of the energy efficiency in killing bugs. And because uh, when I woke up this morning, uh, right now it is, we're having Indian summer. It's September, end of September. I'm about to go to France to race. But uh, it's an Indian summer and I uh, woke up this morning and there was a big ass mosquito. Not big ass. Yeah, it was actually a big ass mosquito uh, to the point where I was making my coffee and it, Jesus, what the heck was that? And I was like, that was a freaking mosquito. And uh, what I did after I got the, 
the 10 watt fluorescent one, the high powered one, I found a LED based lantern style bug zapper. And, you know, looked at the power consumption and it was just minuscule. And so I was like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, my, my, my bulb one works great and maybe I'll use that in some other parts of the room. So now I can spread my bug, bug killing capacity and I hung one of these lantern style ones in its place over in the garage. And so, you know, if I left it on for a while, it didn't bother. And it, I wasn't as concerned about the energy requirement, though net net how much I spent for these things probably doesn't offset the energy cost. But yeah, whatever. I'm trying to save the, save the planet. Um, and what's kind of cool is when you're walking past my garage in the dead of night and there's no, none, of, none of the security lights are on or no, you, know, you can see like this blue glow and people are probably wondering like, what the heck? And the red light, of, the red LED glow of my uh, countdown timer. People are like, man, what is Will doing in there? Is he got a grow house? Anyway, the, uh, so I have that, I replaced the fluorescent one and took the fluorescent one and just actually left it up in the, the living room. Um, because I was trying to kill some moths and stuff that we had a, a bit of an infestation of moths. Um, and that took care of that and just would really plug that in when I had problems. But that said, I found it even going again on my, my excursions on Amazon. I found that they now have a version that's battery powered. And that's what this one is. And I'm like, I gotta have that, especially at, towards the end of the season sale, you know, they, um, the price was was right. It might have been I don't know. This this one was probably like forty or fifty bucks. Brand you know full retail. I got it for like I don't know twenty fifteen twenty bucks. But what I like about it this particular one, which has the very cryptic name of Bug Zapper, and I'll leave a link uh, in in the description below, is that it's battery powered, USB C charged, charge um, plug, and you know since I do a bit of van life thing, I figure I could use this in the van if I am camping in it for races. But in the meantime, I can leave it upstairs and turn it on as needed. So that brings me to the video, this video and this morning of waking up and having a big ass mosquito. I'm like, I'm gonna kill that son of, son of a. And so I turned this guy on and plugged it in and just made me think of making this video to try and try to share with you how effective these things are. Um, they're really handy, especially now that they're cordless and they hardly use any energy. This particular bug zapper, which if they correctly named it, actually has a lantern, um, an LED light, which is pretty cool. And then it's got a, like a lighter light and then a safety flash. But that's what's really handy about this. Hopefully this will be able to kill the bug. Um, and me handling this all. And what's kind of cool is, is when you have this nearby, and I actually see quite a few bugs stuck on the screen. Uh, if you ever get one of these, by the way, um, don't be like me and throw away the, the brush, the handy brush that, that, that comes with it, um, because the brush is necessary to, it's, it's, a, it's like a, it's a small little like whisk broom brush, but more importantly, it's long and it's, wide about an inch wide if that three quarters of an inch wide but it allows you to clean the electrodes um inside the bug zapper so you know eventually if this thing does its thing it's going to kill a ton of bugs and they're all going to be stuck to the ones that aren't the ones that don't fall to the bottom um will be stuck to the electrode and you just need to clean that and i think the first time I bought one of these probably for the fluorescent one. I threw that out and um, it's just a nice little maintenance thing. And every subsequent one, I'd like to make sure I keep that. Uh, in fact, those little, those little ones that you plug into the, just the wall, just, you know, the, the little ones that are the size of a card, uh, playing, a playing card deck um, come with a brush. And I, I've tried to hoarded those just because whatever, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes, but that's, that's handy. Keep the, keep the brush and wipe these down every once in a while and actually just kind of be uh, amazed at how many bugs these things kill passively. But yeah, link in, link in the bottom, it's, you know, I haven't used this particular battery one, but the, uh, the one I have in the garage that's LED based works great, you know, just turn it on, leave it on passively, it just starts killing 
passively actively starts killing bugs. Thanks for watching.